Uh-oh, which, quite frankly, I think is both his biggest weakness, but also his biggest strength. At times, it gets in the way, but it really is a prerequisite to being a successful poker player. Confidence plays such a big part in being able to weather the storm, weather the beats. Pair of deuces for Phil here. Here I go again. Am I really gonna limp with the sand again? Yes. He calls. Oh. Jack Trey for Eugene. I was 50-50 limping with this hand yesterday. Eugene checks. And the flop. A6 deuce is set for Phil. Complete air for Eugene. He's checking it over. Phil bets 4,000. <laughs> Couldn't have A6. And takes down the pot quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I did have A6. <laughs> it would be a lot better for me if you had six deuce, to be fair. Six deuce would be the match. Meanwhile, back to Phil Helmuth, who has a nearly three to one chip advantage over Eugene Kachilov. Lines at three and six thousand here. King ten of diamonds for Phil. You know, the bad news for Eugene is Helmuth is the kind of guy who is so disciplined when he's up in this range, this three-to-one chip lead. He's not going to open the door and give you a chance to double up and get right back into it. You see him limping. He is in no hurry here. Two suited hands here. Ace, Trey, Trey, three of a kind for Eugene. Six thousand. He'll bet six thousand. Phil calls. Yep. He figures if Eugene had an ace, he would have raised pre-flop, and if he had a three, why wouldn't he check? Oh, and Phil pairs his ten on the turn. Yeah, that's a troublesome card for Helmuth. 16, Eugene bets 16,000. Now Helmuth has to decide whether or not Kachilov is the kind of guy who would fire two small barrels with complete air out of position. And Phil calls. Begrudgingly, as you notice there. The only thing he's really hoping is that Eugene has some sort of spade draw. River brings River's a jack, a jack of clubs. Of clubs. Yeah. Oh, and Phil certainly isn't going to enjoy Eugene putting a third bet out there. If Kachilov does go on to bet this, Phil's going to have to decide whether or not he's the kind of guy that's capable of three-barreling here with air. Eugene bets 32,000. 32, Eugene. Huh? While Helmuth considers this river back to Kachilov and Helmuth, Eugene Kachilov had just bet the river. Action still to Phil Helmuth, facing that bet on the river. Makes the call. Phil makes the call. And, and Eugene takes threes. down the pot. Turn by Eugene, they're good. I nice sound. Thank you. <clears throat> Curiosity cost Phil 32,000 there. I think he really wanted to get a sense of whether or not that was something Eugene had in his arsenal. A pre-flop limp leaves Helmuth sulking. But for Joe Sirock, running diamonds put a jolt in his title hopes. Sirock onto the semis. The diamonds bracket was a bit of foreshadowing for Joe Sirock. He went runner, runner, diamond to make a flush and bounce Brian Hastings from the tournament. Sirock is onto the semis as Eugene Kachaloff and Phil Helmuth continue to battle at the feature table. And blinds at four and eight thousand with Phil holding the lead. The winner of this match gets Joe Sirock. Eugene Kachilov was born and raised in Ukraine, moved to the U.S. with his family at age 10. His father actually played cards professionally in Russia, a game called Klabyash. Ooh, I'm not sure what kind of starting hand ace-10 suited is in Klabyash, but it's pretty good in No Limit Hold'em. He is called. Limping on the button with the suited ace. Jacks for Helmuth. It's in a raise to 20,000. Owen. Oh, no, Eugene's moved all in, and a snap call from Phil. Wow, how did that happen? Eugene thought he was trapping Phil. Ended up trapping himself here. Uncharacteristically large pot pre-flop between these two. Even with these two hands, we don't expect to see this much money in the middle pre-flop. And the flop. 10-6-9, Kachilov pairs his 10. Well, that's a start. It's a shippy, shippy flop anyway, Eugene, right? With that flop, we were getting all in, even if you just call, right? Nope. Now the turn. 
Turns a queen of spades. Doesn't change anything for Eugene. He's got five outs. You think it's coming, Eugene? I have no idea. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. One easy way to find out. Let's Here's take a look at the river. Is it an ace or a ten? This is Rivers to Trey Diamonds, and that means Phil Helmuth is moving on to the semis. Very bad, Eugene. I knew it would be a great battle against you. I have a lot of respect for your game. Thanks, Phil. So it'll be old school and new school in the semifinals. Helmuth takes on Ciroc Matiso v. Seaver. 16 bracelets, by the way, for the old school guys. Empty wrists for the new school. Let's go down to Julie. Eugene, is that the play you had to make with Ace-10? I think so. I mean, having having seen the flop, I think it wouldn't, it wouldn't have ever mattered. I would definitely be playing this hand uh, with these blinds, and whether I go in pre-flop or see the flop, I'm never getting away from it, so just wasn't meant to be. All right, Phil, it has now been four in a row. What's the key to your victory? I, I'm very comfortable. Again, I, I've, been, I've worked really hard on my heads up in the last month, and I'm the most comfortable I've ever been by far. And so it feels, um, it feels like I'm in a good comfort zone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Game, Phil. All right, great game, Eugene. You're not going to see the crazy Mike DeMau. What? No idea. The whole world. Here I go again. In my hand. Leading like a stuck pig. Prick, prick, little prickle. Shippy, shippy flop. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, where's this poker? Coming up next, it's the semifinals. A pair of poker giants take on a pair of poker's rising stars.